Okay, we got a good good one today. We're going to install some 67 through 72 hood lettering cowl induction die cast parts. So this is pretty much all you're going to need to install this uh, badge. You need some marking paint, you need some masking tape, and of course a Dremel. Or a drill, you could use a drill. I use a Dremel because the grinding stone is better for going through fiberglass. Sometimes if you use a drill bit, it'll chip the fiberglass. Anyways, let's take a look at these little cuties. Oh, these are nice. This is good quality. You can feel it. The weight is right there. So the reason you need a Dremel is because they have mounting uh, studs. So we've got to get through the fiberglass so that those can go in. Like so. Wow, these are sharp. They're going to look great. Yeah, I figured it was time. Originally on the Vega I would put... I don't know if you can see this. Originally I would put these Vega 2300 emblems right there because a lot of the Camaros would put 302 or whatever engine was underneath the cowl hood. But when I saw these I thought, yeah, baby. Those would look nice. Clean it really good with alcohol. Get all your wax off so that the adhesive and the tape can stick. Clean this off. Take out the wax. About here. Just right about there. And once again, we want to be right to the upper edge of where flat side starts. You don't want to put it on the curve, but you want it on the flat sides of the cowl hood. Like that. A light helps because it highlights the contour. Take our word cowl. And I'm just kind of visually lining it up with the upper edge of the tape. We want it to start about there. On. Something like that. You can see the highlight on the contour of the hood from the overhead light. It shows a nice straight line so we've got that nicely um, aligned. I know the dots look crooked, but that's because the studs are um, offset. One is higher up to the upper edge, and then the other one's toward the middle of the letter. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with these parts. They, they're nice quality, nice heavyweight metal, they're not made out of plastic, they're not garbage. So if you'd like them, um, you can get them from uh, eBay. I got mine from a fella named Mike. At D and R Classic Automotive. D and R Classic Automotive. Okay, we're going back to the grinding stone to get it started, just so it doesn't chip the glass. If this grinding stone was a little bit more worn, we could go all the way through. I just don't want to make a big giant hole. <laughs> Now we'll switch to the drill. Mm, there's nothing like the smell of fiberglass dust in the afternoon. Test fitted in the holes. Looks great. Nice. Now we'll do the uh, dots on the other word induction. Yellow paint on the studs, make our word, and we'll give it a little space, line it up with the top of the tape, that looks pretty good, you just want to be calm and take your time, there you go, just like that. And 
lift it away. Good. Three good values. We want to clean the area again with um, alcohol before we do the final applying of the emblem. Let's remove the emblem so now. Wow, that drill bit was spot on. Nice snug fit. <coughs> Pull our tape. Yeah, those are good holes. No, no chipping. Okay. A little isopropyl on a rag. Clean it again. Now all you gotta do is peel the adhesive, <coughs> the liners that are on the sti stickers here. Peel those off, which may be tricky. Maybe not. Seems pretty good. Peel those away. And press your emblem into place. Peel the other liner. Press your emblem into place. And then repeat it on the other side. Pretty much the same. Anyway, that's how you install a metal cowl induction emblem on a fiberglass hood. Whether it's a Vega or a Chevelle or a Camaro, it doesn't really matter. This is how you could do it. See how nice and straight it is? I think we got it. Alright, thanks for watching. Be well.